Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Up and Coming. Today I'm going to be talking about a game that I'm really looking forward to. I I'm super excited for is For Honor. Uh, For Honor, it just looks amazing to me. It's a hack and slash video game that's being developed by uh, Ubisoft Montreal, and it'll obviously be published by Ubisoft. But um, it has single player and multiplayer, and it'll be released. For PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Uh, to be complete, it looked amazing, especially coming from a guy who loves history. Uh, there's, you get to either play as three certain uh, samurai, medieval knights, and Vikings, which just sounds amazing to me. Um, we've seen gameplay of it at E3 2015, and I instantly felt I am so excited for this game. I am dying for it, pretty much. Um, it is a... It's pretty much going to be set during the medieval period. Um, obviously, since there's medieval knights, vikings, and samurai, it's going to be set some between then. Um, the three factions are called the Legion, the Chosen, and the Warborn. Obviously, the Legion being the Knights, the Chosen being the Samurai, and the Warborn being the Vikings. That is what I'm guessing, uh, uh, more or less. Um, but there will be different classes and abilities people can use with uh, weapons and other other things, for instance. Um, and there will... Uh, there'll also be uh, character customization, and you can be obviously both genders and use uh, to change your armor and customize your armor. And um, players will fight against each other using melee weapons, um, like sword shields or sword shields, like uh, swords and uh, battle axes and long swords, things like that, uh, katanas. Uh, it will feature competitive multiplayer modes that can support up to eight eight players who will be split evenly into two teams. Um, when a match starts, players will be accompanied by AI teammates who will assist the players. Points temporary will both temporary be temporary and permanent can be earned in the match. And when one team earns enough points, uh, that's when the game pretty much ends. Oh, well, sorry. When one team earns enough points. You must eliminate all the players from one team. Once all the players from one team are eliminated, the match will end. When the players kill a certain number of enemies consecutively, they can level up and gain feats and, you know, up upgrade your stuff and unlock things. Um, and it'll unlock perks as well that will gain you additional points and strengths. Um, you can call it, like, such as you can call in a barrage of arrows, catapults, or heal your stuff, things like that. There's is Art of Battle. Uh, it will be introduced to the game. It will Players can enter a duel mode with another player uh, wherein players aim at their opponent and you duel it out, which actually sounds epic. Uh, true, players can choose how they place and position their weapons when they're attacking their enemies. Uh, players can choose uh, from three directions, from the right and the left, to attack, which is pretty much realistic. There's not the upcut swing, I guess, with the blade, but eh, who needs that? Uh, really do so much with the system. Choosing the correct position can block the other player's attack. The strength, uh, player can also be uh, the strength of uh, each attack can also be decided by the. Uh, the system aims at uh, to feel the weight of because of a certain weapon heavier than other. It's longer to swing. It's awesome. Uh, the multiplayer modes are designed to feature a structure similar to that of shooters. That's really weird. Um, does that mean like first person shooters? Yeah. Well, that's weird. Um, oh, shooters with a sword. <laughs> the creative director said it's shooter with a sword. Wow. Alright. The first mode revealed is called Dominion. It's a mode similar to Domination, which players has to capture co control points, and that was featured in the E3 gameplay. Uh, you show you have to like capture forts or like some structures or control points, and there will be a single player campaign that is included with the final game. Uh, so not I'm not gonna lie, I am super excited about this game. This is a game I'm definitely going to be 
because it just has so much in it for me I am interested in. Um, I love hack and slash games. I love role playing games. Love fantasy games. Uh, it is a non fantasy game, but it is like it's in that genre of games I just cannot wait to get my whole hands on. And not to mention, it's also including things like, um, it's including like just history in general because I love history. I'm a nerd. Um, it's including things like the samurai vikings and the knights and it's just placing them all three three of the no like greatest types of warriors thrown into battle is going to be epic i am super excited for this game and it's going to come out sometime in 2016 um it's no official date coming out it's just um i actually i don't even know what's about 2016 it doesn't even have a set date i mean it was announced last year so can't expect much from, but I, I can't expect much from, like um, from in terms of when it's going to be released. However, it has been um, has been announced and it was an it, it even revealed gameplay. We don't know. I don't know if it's a pre-alpha footage or if it's beta footage or if it's even complete footage from the complete game. But they haven't set the early date, and I. I'm gonna speculate it's going to be towards holiday season, uh, or the holiday season towards like um, Christmas and New Year's. I'm guessing to be towards then. If not, I I speculate it'd probably be around early 2017, uh, January, February, March. That those those three months. But I'm super excited for the game. What do you guys think about the game? What do you think is gonna be in the game? If it's gonna be some epic hit or is it gonna be some flop that gets no attention? Um, I want your opinions, guys. Please let me know in the comments below. As always, please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in peace. Actually, before I um, for sale, and I've seen all things, and um, it will be that you pre order it right now. So, see it out around the years. That's how I'm going to see it's going to be out. So I'll see you guys on, again. See you guys around. So, peace. One after then. Dosha was no scholar, a treasure.